Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody. Well, once again, uh, working on my Final Fantasy XIV blog post, and uh, I'm at a point where I need to explain something, and usually when that happens, I find it a lot easier to just make a video about it than just talk it out than to have to sit here and type down all these walls of text and stuff like that. So, this case here, it's a lot, it's gonna be a lot quicker and easier to show rather than tell. Um, I'm gonna I'm going to be talking about uh, how the kingdoms work in this game, so I'll try to cover as much as I can or as much as I can remember in a short amount of time. So, but anyway, um, like usual, I'm going to have some music in the background. Um, this time around, it's going to be uh, Ancestral Memories, uh, Sacred Forest. So, I played this kind of music before. Um, I don't really have time to find music that's just right for this video or anything like that. Just grab the closest thing that came up on my playlist so let's go ahead and get that going so okay kingdoms um now I believe uh, when you first start this game you're not gonna have access to any of these except maybe um, the very first one I believe is Adana I think but for every kingdom, to first you have to unlock it. Um, I think you have to pay like a thousand gold, three thousand gold, or something like that. And that will unlock it. And when you do, you will. Um, every kingdom will have a quest. Will have a quest line that you have to complete. Like it says here, clap. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, no, that's wrong. That's wrong. Anyway, so once you complete that, um. You'll also, uh, you'll also unlock a class quest, which in this particular kingdom here, Adana, maybe it'll show here, no, it don't. So, like, in that particular case, Adana, I believe, unlocks the machinist class. Yep, Adana. So. But, um, also, each one of these each one of these uh, is going to have a... Uh, if you see my other videos, you'll know I make fairly extensive use of this. You can also unlock uh, Explore, Explore Quests. Um, I'm trying to think, but in, in uh, Diablo 3 comes to mind for those, uh, those greater rifts, maybe those regular rift runs where you can choose your difficulty. You know, higher difficulties mean, you know, more difficult monsters, probably obvious, and also increases like the amount of gold you get, amount of mist stones. That's uh um, that's currency you get. You'll need like a hundred of them to fight the mythic boss in each kingdom. But you kinda get the idea though. So you get uh you can do explore runs, you can do uh, challenges. They're all uh, seven challenges here. You know, that kind of thing. Complete all seven of them, and you go to tier two, tier three, etc. Um, and probably the big one here is each one of these kingdoms, I believe, um, I think it's every hour. Every hour you'll get a tribute. Like in this, again, uh, using Adana as an example. There's a 26% chance that you're going to get uh, 245 gold from this kingdom. Gold, uh, some glory uh, type of currency, and then souls, again, another type of currency. And then, um, actually, let me, um, let me go to my home kingdom, White Hill. Kind of the same thing here. I think it's every hour. You know, 26% chance to get 645 gold. And also you get 66 glory every hour as well. And then, and then over here, you can also upgrade your kingdoms as well. And then each, each kingdom, 
is going to have its own own type of mastery. Like in this case, it's yellow. Um, I'd probably have to actually go into the into a match, but uh, mastery affects your uh, mana surge rate, your uh, mana surge percentage. Uh, the percentage chance that you're going to get that a particular match is going to get you double the mana. That's, that's mastery, and then, as you see here, tribute. This kingdom here is going to get you uh, more money. Um, you know, in the next level, then you get a paladin troop, more, you know, and so on and so forth. And then, uh, a big prime goal, especially when you're starting out playing this game, is to get all your kingdoms to level 10. Then that's when you start getting, um, that's when you get a stat bonus. Like, in this particular kingdom here, it's going to be armor. And then let me rewind back a little bit. And then, um, if, if you, if you, um, if I was to say this kingdom team bonus, if I was to say, that one up let me just pick one at random I'll pick this one edit team because what you can do if you were to make a team composed that um composed of uh, entirely from white helm you know all your entire team is from the again from the white helm kingdom then um then you would actually get a you would get a team bonus um i don't know the exact uh the exact stats involved but yeah and then um again every five levels no every ten every ten you would get a you would get a plus one to a particular stat this case here be an armor and if you got it to level 15 another big goal you will get additional armor and then faction horde stats um and um in order to in order to unlock the underworld i think you have to unlock all the kingdoms in the overworld here but uh, each overworld kingdom is going to have an underworld equivalent, like White Helm. I believe it's Hall of Guardians. Yeah, it looks like it. And then don't, don't want to go too uh, deep into this. But yeah, you know, horror quality, that kind of thing. Let's go back to the overworld. But yeah, then you would uh, you would get additional faction horde stats. And then also, um, I believe for a lot of guilds out there, one of their big requirements for you to join their guild is to have all their um, have all your kingdoms to at least level ten. So, and then you can kind of see over here on the left too, staring at me in the face. You know, you level them up. Your faction horde again for doing uh, underworld stuff. You'll get more. You'll get more loot from doing that. That particular underworld kingdom, Mist Stones, I kind of talked about a little bit. You'll get 10% more Mist Stones from running stuff in here. You get 100, you can fight the Mythic boss, defeat that Mythic boss, and you'll get a boss chest. But anyway, that's pretty much how, uh, how the kingdom levels work. Power levels, uh, this one here... You do various things in here, like you you unlock the traits. Traits for those that don't know are these. Unlock traits on them. You'll also uh, you'll also be required to level up some of these uh, some of the troops, and in doing so, you'll uh, you'll actually get more loot. You'll get more uh, hourly loot from this particular kingdom. You know, extra gold. Uh, twice as likely to get some of that gold. And then, in here, just like the kingdom levels, 
every five levels, you get a plus one kingdom skill bonus. And in this case here, it's got to be armor. So. And every five levels. So that means if I can get this to level 10, I'll have an additional stat. Although, I don't know if this means a plus one every five levels. Like, plus one here and then an additional plus one. Or does this mean plus two skill bonus? Yeah, they're really vague on this. But you kind of get the idea here, though. So, upgrading the power levels gives you more, uh, gives you more of an hourly tribute. And then, um, once again, um, every kingdom has this. Oh, and I, I also forgot to mention, too, um, it, you can, um, you can choose a kingdom as your home kingdom. And in doing that, yeah, it, it doubles the tribute that you get. So, and by default, the most popular opinion, or the most popular one to go for, is Whitehelm. Mostly because it gives you more... This is the only kingdom that gives you a lot of glory. Um, it's a currency that's fairly hard to come by. Um, I'd probably say second only to gems. Otherwise, the only real way to get a uh, glory is doing PvP. So, so yeah, I th think most people have their home kingdom set to White Helm for that reason. And then, I, in case I didn't talk about this earlier, but for challenges, every seven challenges that you do uh, move, bumps you up a tier. So you can see the reward in the lower right, 10,000. To all seven here, you get 10,000 gold on top of what you get by uh, winning these. So you can get 17,000 17, gold just by completing this tier. And then it goes up to like shards, souls, etc. So. But. Otherwise, um, yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and explain that. Uh, just do a quick rundown on how the kingdoms work. So just trying to save me some time when typing down my blog. So, uh, But otherwise, hey, thanks, for, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.